Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I just got one of the new fall palettes in, and so I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I had on. And as far as what I have on for my foundation today, um, I went ahead and started with the e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow. I have mine in Fair One. And then I went ahead and mixed it with the Pretty Fresh. This is their neutral shade in 55. And yeah, mine's dirty and needs a little bit of TLC. I guess I need to clean in here. Um, so <clears throat> moving on. Uh, as far as what I went ahead and did for the bronzer, um, I went ahead and used the MAC bronzer, this the Light Rosy and Radiant, so that's what I have on there. And um, as far as what I did for the cheeks, I went ahead and got out the Bare Mineral uh, bronzer. This one is Kiss of Rose, so that's what I have on there. And... Um, I did go ahead and use the Rose Quartz from ELF, and this is their Halo Glow Highlighter. And again, it's in Rose Quartz, so that's the color right there. It's really pretty. I uh, went ahead and put the Catrice Supreme Rose Beam on top of that. And so that's the way that this one looks. And so I have two highlighters on there. As far as the lips, I went ahead and used the Superstay Ink Crayon. This one is in 80, so that's what that looks like. And then I used the NYX Fat Oil on top of it. That's the way that the look, or the lip look came out. And um, as far as what I did for mascara, I used a combination of the Essence Volume Stylist and the Sky High by Maybelline. And these two together are really, this one lengthens, and this one is a tubing uh, mascara. So you use them together, and you get really long, really voluminous lashes. And so it's really pretty. And then as far as the new palette, I think it's gorgeous. Sakura by Alter Ego. And um, Alter Ego does two inspired palettes, and this one is inspired. Um, it's a beautiful one. Um, reminds me of, well, I guess Natasha Denona, I don't own that one, and the uh, Blend Bunnies done one. Uh, that has a lot of these colors in it as well. Um, but uh, again, really pretty palette. Has uh, some teals and mints over here, uh, some raspberry, and um, I think they're more rosies, and then some browns over here. So really pretty. I stayed with uh, this side of the palette today. As far as what I did, I used this in my crease. I used this right above the crease to blend it out. Use this one on the inner corner from here all the way up to here. Um, let's see. I went ahead and put this one on the inner corner um, as well. I went ahead and put this one on the outer corner. This one right in the middle of the lid. So I sort of have a halo eye going on. And then I went ahead and did this one over here um, as from the outer corner to about midway. And then I went ahead and used this one as an eyeliner about midway all the way uh, to the inner corner. And so again, I do have a halo eye going on. It's the way that the look worked out. So again, it's just really pretty. It has that seafoam green, which is this color that's so popular. My shirt's in it as well today. So it's a really popular look right now. As far as swatches, yeah. Um, this is actually the last row. Or actually, let me go ahead. I'll show you how I did it here. Um, I went row by row. No, I went column by column instead of row by row. So I started over here. I did the brown three shades, then the next brown three shades, then the pink row, and then the teal row. So like columns. They're columns. That's what I did. Columns. And so this is actually the last column. 
and then these are all the other columns and they are just really gorgeous the formula is really pigmented easy to blend and like I said I'm just I, I'm loving it I just really like this look and yeah you could um, I got a couple of things uh, this summer that will go perfectly with this seafoam green. So now I have, um, you know, something where I can put together a look and an outfit, which is kind of matchy-matchy, but, you know, it's kind of fun sometimes. So, um, yes, I am very excited. I think this is a beautiful palette to add to anybody's collection. Uh, these run... I think this one is between $17 and $20, so um, the only thing is that you can only get this over at the Alter Eco website, so um, you do have to order it online. Um, but other than that, I think the look is great. I am really enjoying it, and um, I hope you all have a great day. Bye!